Okay, guys, it's Monster Mike back at it again. I got my friend Kevin here behind the camera. He's brought over his Monstera. I actually gave this to him as a cutting. It probably had like two or three leaves, but now look at it. This is less than a year later. He's taking very good care of it. In fact, he needs to repot this. So, of course, when he told me he wanted to repot it, I asked him what kind of soil he was going to use. And he told me just straight up potting mix. And I said, no, let's add some amendments to it and uh, make it better for the Monstera. So, today I am going to show you my favorite mix of soil. So, first of all, we need a bigger pot. So we're going from this, this is like a, what, an eight, six to eight inch pot. And we're gonna go over to a 10 inch pot. So usually when you go up in sizes, you only go, wanna go up two inches at a time. So as you can see, this is slightly bigger than that. That's perfect. It's gonna give us some room to grow in. So, um, right now, being that it's almost spring, it seems like almost a good time to replant this. Um, it's going to have the rest of spring to recover and, and it'll be established by summer and just keep growing until the fall. So, I'm going to have to remove this support system. My favorite go-to mix currently is potting mix, one part potting mix. One part pure light and one part orchid mix. The pot mix is the, a good base for the for the soil. The perlite is excellent for, for drainage and also aeration. And um, we want to get a lot of oxygen to the roots. Over time, the soil can get pretty compacted in the in the pot. So this helps keep the aeration going. And then the orchid mix. This is great for uh, fast draining, and also it's also uh, besides fast draining, it keeps the uh, uh, the soil moist as well. So this is perfect mix to add in. What I simply do is I like to add a whole bag of the pot mix. Since we're only repotting this monstera, I'm only going to use half a bag. That's what that looks like there. Typical. It does have a little bit of perlite in, in here already, but we need more. So, um, I actually have a bag of perlite right here. That's open, so. I'm going to add in perlite. So once again, this is great for uh, the drainage and also the aeration. So this is what we have so far. That's what it looks like. And now the last part of it is orchid mix. I like to have three parts. So basically three even parts of each mix. Orchid mix. All right, so this makes a nice, a nice chunky mix. Now we have to mix it up. So you can use your hands to kind of mix it up like this. Let's see? I like to see the pure light showing. It's a nice chunky mix. Okay. Once you got that mixed up pretty good, you can pot the plant. First step, obviously, we're going to loosen up the root ball. I imagine it's pretty tight in there, but let's let's test it out. I like to kind of squeeze and kind of loosen up the, the plant instead of just kind of like jerking it out. So here it comes, nice and loose. And I can tell that it's it's ready to be repotted because the roots are actually grabbing onto the bottom of the pot right now. So you can tell it's starting to get a little bit root bound. So you can see these roots right here? There's some roots on the bottom there that dug into the pot. So good sign. There's a healthy root system right here. Nice white uh, healthy roots here. I don't see any root rot. It means there is no overwatering. So this is a very beautiful root system right here. Nice and strong. So loosen that up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this guy down right here. Okay 
so that um, I hate it when, when soil escapes the, the drainage holes here. So to kind of help with that, I always get a rock and I'll lay it simply, I'll lay it right on top of that drainage hole right there. And then at that point, I'm going to put the first layer of soil on there. A nice bottom layer of soil there for the roots to dig down. Now I'm simply going to place this where I want to position it on top of soil. That, like so. Now I'm just going to basically fill in around. Just kind of fill in around. perfect amount of soil because it looks like we're using all of it. I imagine this won't have to be repotted again for quite a few years. This is kept mostly indoors, um, so I'm going to shake it up, even it out. Um, my friend Kevin said that he wants his monster to grow more upright, so over time when the area roots start longer um, he can add support to that all right I used up this the, all this soil it was the perfect amount of soil how's it look Kevin looks good it's a lot better than what I would do <laughs> so yeah there it is finished products finished products.